Hello and welcome to another episode of How To Adam Audio. My name is Stefan Maurer, I am the product manager here at Adam Audio and in this video we will go through the basics when it comes to setting up your studio monitors after purchase for the first time. Today we will be demonstrating using our Adam Audio T7Vs as well as a USB powered interface like this Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 how to quickly and easily set up your new monitors. Interface options and I.O. may vary, but there are a few key components with all audio interfaces that are necessary to properly utilize your monitors. For this setup, you will need two TRS tip ring sleeve to male XLR cables and a USB or Thunderbolt cable, depending on your setup. This Scarlett interface does not require a separate power supply, but it is using power over USB. The IC power cables are shipped with the monitors. First though, let's take a look at the back panel of the T7V to see the connections we have to choose from when it comes to audio and power. All our T-series models are equipped with both RCA and XLR inputs as well as an IEC power input. We want to point out that whichever audio input you decide to use, you need to tell the speaker by flipping the switch to either top position for XLR input or bottom position for RCA input. Without adjusting the input switch accordingly, you might not hear anything coming from the speaker at all. The unbalanced RCA inputs are a valid option for a lot of home audio or DJ applications, but for recording purposes, we recommend to use a balanced XLR connection. We've also implemented two switches for controlling a high-frequency shelf HF and low-frequency shelf LF filter. One of the first steps you want to take when setting up your new monitors is finding the best placement. Start with the stereo triangle as a rule of thumb, where both monitors as well as the listening position are forming an equilateral triangle. This will give you an accurate stereo image when mixing or producing. You can find more on speaker placement in another How To Adam video, the links down below in the description. To tackle basic placement and room issues, we've implemented the plus and minus 2db switch for the low frequency shelf that we've talked about earlier. Now it's time to get to the fun part, getting sound out of your monitors. For this example, again, we are using the Focusrite 2i2 interface, which has the basic I.O. needed to run a small studio operation. Initially, we are connecting the USB to your computer and continue to download any necessary drivers, install the Focusrite control and register the interface. Next, we make sure the output volume of the interface is turned all the way down as we then use the TRS to XLR cables to connect the line output of the interface to the XLR input of the T7s. We will also connect the IEC cable to the monitors and continue to power them on. We then turn the power knobs on the speakers up to the zero mark. After setting the audio device on your DAW to the right interface, you should now be able to hear audio coming out of your monitors as you turn the volume knob of the interface up. It's at this point that we recommend burning in your monitors, which you can find more about in another video. Link is found down in the description. Also, don't forget to register your new monitors at adam-audio.com slash myadam for an extended five-year warranty. We hope you found this short video helpful in getting your studio up and running. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Tschüss! Create some funny outtakes. Yeah. Can we do it from the top? Now then you see my armpits. <laughs>